what's going on everyone it's King Tuts Pro welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to do this really cool vertigo slash dolly zoom effects slash masking transition if that makes sense so like combining both of them to kind of give you this end result which looks really really cool so this is the effect that you guys saw in the beginning of the tutorial we have Chris Brown the music video is also going to be linked in the description uh, it is Freaky Friday uh, with little Dickie and Chris Brown and I just got two clips and I just kind of masked the second clip through the first one with this kind of cool little, uh, I don't know what you call this, like lens distortion effect. Now, you guys will need to download that plugin, and that plugin is from Ryan Nangle. If you guys want to subscribe to him, a link is in the description. It will take you guys to his YouTube channel, so just go ahead and just check him out. He, he has a lot of really cool like transition effects. So once you import your videos that you guys want to use, I use this one here, of course, where he's uh, on the balcony, and this is the raw video. Uh, coming from the music video here and if I push play you can see that the background is stationary and he's uh, the camera or the dolly is zooming in onto Chris Brown and that's what you want to happen of course and then here we have um, just kind of like uh, Chris Brown just talking to the camera and that's where we want it to kind of mask in all right so to do this it's really simple uh, to create the vertigo effect I already made a tutorial but kind of like a recap of it you want to go ahead and select your clip that you want to reverse so in this case since we're zooming in we want it to do the opposite so we're going to go to crop and we're going to go to Ken Burns and we want this to start in here if the camera is zooming out of him then you're going to want to switch it so it ends uh, with him and it starts with the full frame if that makes sense okay so we're going to do something like that we might want to uh, let's go uh, over here towards the beginning here and I'm going to go ahead and just zoom this in quite a bit okay to make the effect a little bit more drastic and I'm going to click done and now if I push play you're going to have that really cool vertigo effect as you can see with the background and how it's moving I might want to change my quality to better performance so it runs a little better so you can see how this effect is looking and it looks really cool already now the next thing we need to do is create a mask transition uh, so before we do that though we do want to apply the lens distortion through Ryan Angles pack so go to the effects uh, once you installed it and then go to custom in the custom you're gonna have a bunch of glitch effects but we're not gonna be working with the glitch effects you guys can add some but we're not going to we're gonna go with the lens distortion too and we're gonna drag that on top of this clip and the other clip as well so once we do that we're gonna have something like this but you can see that it's kind of wiggly and we don't want that effect to be happening so to fix that all we got to do is go to the effects and go to the wiggle amount and get rid of that and change it to zero so we have something like this okay so the only thing that's changing is kind of creating a like a wide angle lens like an inverted wide angle lens effect so we can increase the amount or we can decrease it or get rid of it completely so in this case we want it to start somewhere around halfway like around here and then we're going to go ahead and add a keyframe so we want it to start maybe here okay so around 50 50 to 60 and then add a keyframe here you can also add like an rgb split you can create a rgb split fade as well just to make it a little bit more drastic so you can notice the difference so then go to the amount and add a keyframe and then from here what you want to do is uh, let's go ahead and move this over here okay so we're going to have this clip on top and then right here at the end of this clip here of the first clip we're going to change this to maybe 85 or 88 something like that so it makes it really drastic his arms are going to look really weird uh, so just you know let that happen okay and maybe you want to increase this a little bit more so let's see yeah we got to increase we got to push this in a little further and something like, like yeah something like that will look good okay so now if I push play and you're going to see how it's going to take effect so from here uh, we're going to go ahead where we left off so this would be around 74 so we're going to go here and we're going to go ahead and change the amount from 74 all right, and we're going to add a keyframe, and then we're going to go here to the end of this clip, and then we're going to change this to zero so the effect gets rid of it, okay? Then we're going to go ahead and press Command C to make a copy of that second clip, and we're going to drag this right beneath it like that, okay? 
and you're gonna have like this black thing here just go ahead and get rid of that it's kind of annoying and then you have kind of this going on if you want to fill in the gap just cut it and then drag this in front of it so we're gonna go for something like this okay and then it's gonna smoothly fade into the next clip and if you guys are pretty much you guys are pretty much done here if you guys don't want the mask effect but if you guys want the mask effect which is pretty much the coolest effect here the only thing you need to really do is just add an effect or a mask effect to the first clip uh, so we have something like this uh, let's see over here yeah so the reason we make a copy is because we want the same clip to appear in the back all right and then we also kind of want to get rid of the let's see I think it's this one yeah so we're gonna go into the effects and we're gonna get rid of RGB split and RGB fade so if we check that there we go and we're also gonna get rid of it here so we're gonna change this to there so we still have the effect happening well I guess we can keep it and then we can fade it off so we can uh, add a keyframe here and there and then we can fade it out so we have something like this sweet though so that look that makes it look a lot more smoother so once we've done that the only thing we need to do is just add the mask so go to the effects and just type in mask and drag the draw mask uh, on top of the first clip here all right, and then all you have to do is just start it at the first clip, and then you're gonna mask out Chris Brown and the car or whatever it is. Okay, so I might suggest you guys first click. Okay, don't make like super detailed. Uh, if you guys want the effect to look a lot cleaner, of course, you can add more anchor points. But in this case, I'm just gonna kind of skim through this really quickly because I don't want to take too long. So something like that. Uh, I guess here. Well. Here is fine and then sweet so we're, we're then gonna go ahead and just go around maybe change the size here and then go ahead and go around the clip and we're gonna mask it out okay it's fine if you see the first clip there it's totally fine uh, so I'm just gonna leave it to fit once you do that all you have to do is go to the effects again and go to the draw mask and then you're gonna have the control points you want to make sure you click this if you don't click this you're not going to add any animated keyframes or any animation for that sake or whatever. So you want to go ahead and click on add a keyframe to add the first keyframe. So once you do that, you want to go ahead and start adjusting it. So go uh, press left or right on the arrow key to start uh, adding some effects. So we're going to go here. So I'll come back to you guys once it is all completed. All right, so I am pretty much done here now. So if I go back, you can see all of the keyframes that I've pretty much animated. So you wanna make sure that you click on the plus button, of course, to add your first control point. That way you can start adding your keyframes. Then at this point, you can just, you know, it automatically stops because it cuts it there. Uh, so you pretty much don't have to do anything else from here, of course. You can always cut it and then add other effects. So once you're done from here, the last thing you want to do is add the actual earthquake effect. So we're going to go into all video and we're going to type in earthquake and we're going to drag this on top of that clip, the first clip, and then we're going to push play. And then around here, we want it to go ahead and kind of start shaking. So we're going to go from zero at the first keyframe. And then we're going to go around here to the last clip and kind of make it kind of drastic. So if I push play, it's going to start shaking and then it's gonna go here as well. Now, if you also want this one to shake, super simple. Uh, we're gonna go, I think where we left off was around 36. So I'm gonna go into the effects and add another earthquake on top of that first clip. We're gonna go to the amount, we're gonna change that to, I don't know, I think it was 36. Add your first keyframe, and then around here, we wanna go ahead and get rid of it. So now if I go ahead and render this out by clicking render selection. Now if I go ahead and push play, this is what the effect should look like. All right, so for this clip, it looks like there's some wiggling happening as you can see around the edges. So to get rid of that, just go ahead and press B and that will cut it completely from uh, this clip here. It will be a separate clip. Then you can of course get rid of pretty much all like everything, okay? And then for this one, we also want to get rid of this. So now if I go ahead and push play, it gets rid of the effect completely. So we want to get rid of this one. So we're going to just 
bring down the amount. So it's going to go from there till here. So, so there we go. So now I'm going to push play. There you go. Something like that. And then this one, for some reason, we need to take down the earthquake as well. So there you go. Sweet. So now I push play. It should look something like that. And then this one, we need to get rid of the wiggle amount. So we're just going to go ahead and just fade this out really quickly. Click there. And then just bring it down. So now if I push play, it will uh, smoothly get rid of that, as you can see. And then for this one, we also want to get rid of it. So we're going to start here. And we're going to go to the wiggle amount. We're going to click the plus icon. And then we're going to go a little couple frames over and just drag this down. So now if I push play, it's gonna every all the effects are gonna pretty much fade off. So that now when you play it back, this is what the effect should look like when you're completely finished. And I think it looks really cool. I know there's a lot of a lot of keyframing in this tutorial, so I know it's a little bit advanced, but once you guys kind of get the hang of it, it shouldn't be too hard. So be sure to download the plugin from Ryan Angle. Link is in the description, along with the music video. And yeah, so if you guys found this tutorial helpful, be sure to leave a like, that'd be awesome. Subscribe, turn on the bell notification, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.